Right, here we go. That's better. Yeah, I just had to save it and uh, restart the game. And everything seems to be fine now. Why can't we get out here? Let's me pistol. This isn't good. Get down, you. Get down. You as well. Right, we need to move now. Get out of here, come on, smartish. Right, I think she's up here. Open. Why am I not allowed to open this door? Thank you. And why have I got no timer now on this? Is she dead? No. Right, I need to get in here. Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Oh, hello. Get in here, right. Whoa, what the hell was that? Right, just just set oh, me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. Yeah. I, oh, that was horrible. Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? Uh, yeah, I'm a friend. I'm Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We can cool. take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. That's grand. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Don't care. Who's this? <laughs> a quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Shut up and I'll tell you, Muppet. This quarian can help us bring down Saren. I would have told you that if you hadn't jumped down my throat. I apologize, Commander. This whole thing with Saren has me a bit on edge. Maybe we should just start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. Hey, what, what's a pilgrimage? I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. What do you mean by something of value? What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Oh, okay. So, yeah, go on. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. Y yeah, is that true? How did you manage to preserve the memory core? 
My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean, but I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. Yeah, but first things first. What the hell's the conduit? He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Yeah, Reapers sounds familiar. I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. Yeah, it's not far-fetched at all. A vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. Yeah, they definitely need to know about this. The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audiophiles prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her, the Quarian? My name is Tolly. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. Yeah, but what about your pilgrimage? I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. Okay, yeah, she could be useful. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Right, okay, so who are we going to take to the tower? I think we should take... Garris and maybe uh, let's see I'm thinking Tally get her into things straight away Cause, well I mean she's found the evidence hasn't she so yeah it's got to be her she's got to come with us okay uh, well, oh, before we go there, we need to see the Elcor diplomat, don't we? So we'll go and see him. Who was just here? Strange greeting, human. This is really not a good time. Yeah, but I can help you. We found something. Found something out for you. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus. And he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Here, this should be proof enough for you. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. Yeah, I, I think you're going to be fine, pal. Don't worry about it. Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. 
she will be most displeased with my actions. Yeah, I think Anxious she may be. Request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. Yeah, don't worry. I'm sure she'll forgive you. It was an honest mistake. Doubtful. Perhaps you are right, human. I can only hope so. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, Din, not all humans are as you say. Okay, so now we need to go and see Shaira anyway. Because we sorted out uh, General Septimus. Yeah. So we'll go and sort that out. Oh, and what we got here? Uh, sure, no problem. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Patia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. So, go on. Uh, yeah, happy it's to It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Hey, why? Why did they refuse your why request? Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. Okay, no, if this is wrong, we've got to sort that out. That has to be sorted out. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. Okay, so let's go and do this first. And then we'll go and see Shaira. And then we will head... Well, we may... There is still something else I think we can do while we're here. So... And we could do we go and see in Executor Palin in the CSEC office. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. That's right, Your I activities am. made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yeah, look, I'm here for Samesh. Yes, a man named Samesh Batya is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Batya. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Oh, you can't. Serviceman Nirali Batya died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Batya no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. Well, she's toxic. She's... Uh... Yeah. So you're on in tests. You're studying her injuries to learn more about Geth weaponry. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Well, I'm not bothered about that. Respectfully. Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. Look, no, no, it's not right. She deserves a burial. I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander, you of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. Yeah, and it's still wrong. Not if we lose our humanity in the process. I'm out there fighting to stop crap like this. All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Batia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh yeah, that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. Alright, so let's go and see Samesh. Um, was it Samesh? Oh, Mr. Batia. That will do. Right, okay. It's all sorted, Samesh. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? Yeah, she's Remind on the way Mr. Home. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness. But it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Yeah, goodbye, Mr. Batia. Okay, so let's reset our level up then, again. It was. Right, okay, so we've got two points to spend. I'm going to put them in... But I'm going to put them both in throw. 
and then see if I can remember how to use it or when to use it because I'm shocking okay so we need some decryption so I'm gonna go into both in decryption and then tally you have nothing at the moment let's see what you do to yourself here okay so she can marksman shield boost Okay, plenty of decryption there as well. So we're coming up to advanced sabotage, which is good. Uh, electronics. Yeah, that seems okay. We'll we'll go with that, I think. What about equipment? What? Oh, hello. We need to do some stuff here. Shotgun needs. Uh, what's this to do? Plus 12% damage, minus 20% rate of fire, minus 20% heat absorption. Okay. Improved sighting too. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, and what about... Ooh, anti-personnel rounds. Plus 20% damage versus organics. Or oh, I think so. And we have a better shotgun for us as well. Which is a great bonus. Okay. Uh, tally. Tally, tally, tally. What are we going to do with you? What is best here? Oh, we've only got these bloody Kesslers, which I'm going to turn into Omni Gel. Oh, you dimwit. Oh, you thick get. Oh, well. Sorry. Right, do we have anything we can go on air? Uh, Neil. Garrus. Right, we do have some Turing armour here, which is a fair bit better apart from the tech on biotic uh, protection. I think I'm going to give him that. Oh no, maybe not. It's nowhere near as good. Oh, the shields are better, but nothing else. Okay. So, what have we got? And we haven't got any, uh, and we're set up, I think, unless we've got some better armour. No. Okay, let's uh, let's head out, because that was stupid. I can't believe I just turned that to Omni Gel. That was just absolutely mental. Okay, so where else was I heading? Let's just take a look at our journal and see what else we've got on here before we head to... Uh, see the council. That's the one. Okay. Uh, we need to go and speak to Shaira. So we'll go and do that now. Uh, where is she? Oh, we've just come out of the embassy. So she's over this way. Let's run there, shall we? Oh, can't we run? No. We can if we've got our weapon out, but not otherwise. Okay. Right, that's fine. I will remember that. I'll try. Oh, we've got a few keepers around this side as well, haven't we? So we might as well pick up some of these. So, hello. Let's go see Shaira and see what she's got to say for herself now. The Alliance. My brother's a private. Oh, daughter. yeah, okay. Right. Shaira, I sorted out your problem. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. No problem. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. Yeah, I do good work. <laughs> it was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. Yeah, sure, I'm interested. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. What? I see you. Your uniform fits as though you were born wearing it. You are a soldier through and through proud solitary alone 
but it gives you strength. It is that strength that people are drawn to. It is why you lead and others follow without question. You will need that leadership in the battles to come. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. Uh, okay. Uh, thanks. I think. You have quite a gift, Chihira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Elkor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. Uh, a trinket? What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Oh, thank you, Shaira. Thank you Remember very much. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. Yeah, okay. I will try. Right, next thing on our agenda is probably going to see the reporter again to give him give a fist's uh, drive. I think she's on the ward. So we'll go and do that. And we could fast travel actually. I think we will. Okay, and um, yeah, it's wards and med clinic. Okay, so let's head to see this journalist and give her this information. If she's still here. Oh yeah, she's over there, I see her. Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? Yeah, any chance these could help with your, uh... These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> You've got this files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. Yeah, I can offer more. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Well, now, if you'll excuse you. me, I should go see what's on these discs. Yeah, that's great. Ooh, 400 credits. That's nice. Right. What was the other one? We needed to go and sort out Rita's sister. That's going to take a while a bit so I'm thinking we actually go and expose Saren. Hopefully we'll still be able to go and do this afterwards. I'm hoping anyway. Okay to the council we go. We'll just make it there quick. We'll fast travel so we don't have to bother with that bloody lift up to, up the tower. Oh, first things first, can we top up our medigel in uh, Dr. Michelle's office? Oh, I don't need it. Strange, I could have sworn we did. Oh, fast travel. Yeah, here we go. And we're going to the tower. Right, okay, so let's go straight in and sort this out. Captain Anson, we're ready. Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Venezia. 
Yeah. Another chair. She must be working with the Geth, too. Matriarch Venezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Uh, Only not much. was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. And the Geth pretty much worship them. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? <laughs> Haven't got a Saren clue. Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. Yeah, don't be a fool. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Yeah, well, I've seen them. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Yeah, same old story. Same old Every story. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull... Ambassador. There is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. Really? No. It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. Yeah, just quit holding his back. It was a Turian Spectre who betrayed this council, and it was a human who exposed him. I've earned this. Commander Shepard, step forward. Love this music. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. Yeah, that's great. Thank you very much. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Sarah. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Okay, do you have any leads? Any idea where to find them? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up.
I thought the ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. Yeah, that figures. What do you expect from a politician? Come on. <laughs> right behind you, Shepard. I don't like politicians. <laughs> okay, what we'll do is we'll take a break here. Now we have become a spectre. And gonna go and go out and find Saren. So yeah, we will do the other little bits we've got to do in the Citadel first and then we will head off. So until next time, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.